Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, the American people may be surprised to know some of my colleagues across the aisle hasn't served as long as we have. Might be surprised to know that Representative Raskin and I had, had been building quite a, a colleague friendship in my original years of service. Prior to J6 especially, we would visit and we would, we would debate constitutionalist questions and he and he honored me by observation of my what he would sometimes call compelling arguments contradictory to his own so it's it's with sincerity that I say congratulations to my colleague Mr. Raskin because you have obviously fully recovered from your cancer treatments you you thank you, you my dear friend and I do quite, love you you're quite <laughs> animated and I, I, believe, I believe there's a direct correlation between your testimony against former President Trump and his poll numbers, because I'm watching a live feed. The more you talk about him, the more his numbers go up. So I may yield you more time. But I, I would, honestly, I'd like to ask you if, if I could, regarding the deposition, just from a calm, if we could take a step back from the emotion here and the political conflict and this sort of prepared for battle debate we're in here. Just regarding depositions, we've all been through depositions in one way or another. They're very cold and calculated and you have your attorney there and then the bad guys, who's always those the other guys, they have their attorneys and you're either being sued or you're part of a suit you're either a defendant or the plaintiff, and you're in a room for hours until all the questions have been asked. So, sincerely, why, if you were Hunter's uh, attorney or advisor, why would you advise him not to participate in a deposition wherein his own attorney is there, it's private and everything is transcribed, his words cannot be twisted, by the, by the fake news. Um, just tell us, Mr. Raskin, and I yield for your answer. Thank you kindly, and I should tell you that your feelings are not unrequited. Uh, I still have very fond and warm feelings for you. I'm sorry that January 6th uh, came between us, and I look forward to a day in our republic when we will be really good friends again. But in a direct answer to your question, I, if I were his lawyer and I were his advisor, I would never advise him not to come and testify before the committee except for one thing, and this is why, and I started out this way. But specifically, I, am I asking about deposition? Yes, about de deposition. Because right. we want the deposition first, I would to clarify, no, but, and then the but, uh, public testimony. So just to answer your question, I would recommend it, except that they were publicly given the offer numerous times to come before the whole committee, and they state a fear on their part, which is not unreasonable, that their words will be distorted and the transcript of the interview will never be released because the vast majority of the transcribed interviews have not been released. And I would use this okay, as an opportunity say, to call on the chairman. Let me to just release. say that I yeah. think that's, that's solid counsel. But that brings us to our next point, my next point, which is that it, as a free American, which, it, I mean, to a certain extent, we still have some individual rights and freedoms, including to not comply with a subpoena. But did, so as a, as a free American, Hunter Biden has a right to not comply with the congressional subpoena, but we have the right to take the next step as a Congress. If we believe the subpoena was righteous and, and his noncompliance with that subpoena was unrighteous if we believed that our subpoena was lawful and we have presented probable cause and lawful argument to support that subpoena, then we have not only the right, but we have the obligation to consider that he was in contempt of Congress when he took that stand of noncompliance, which is where we are right now. Doesn't have to be emotional. The man had the right to not show up. We have the right to hold him in contempt and that's what's happening. So, they, by all means, as my colleagues have stated, let us move forward. 
with the, with the people's business. The people's business today in this committee is to move forward with the vote to hold Hunter Biden in contempt. Mr. Chairman, I yield. Gentleman yields back. Does any other member wish to be heard before we 